What's going on, guys? This is James Allen, and today uh, I have a, a comment that I would like to share with you because uh, it touched me. Uh, it, it touched me, it touched my heart, touched my soul. So I want to share it with you. Uh, maybe it might touch you too. And this comment was on a video I did called Let's Get to Work. And if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you watch it. And this person posted uh, the comment I'm about to read to you in that video. So here we go. His name is uh, Chief Endo, and I think he's a regular uh, here. He's a community member. He's like, I like your analogy. My background is in land development. I've managed projects, large and small, from less than an acre to hundreds and hundreds of acres, residential, commercial, industrial, etc. Being one of the foot soldiers for our clients, they feel a lot like our small money investors or majority of our retail investors. They are the people online talking a bunch of shit. And I, I, I guess they, he's, he's talking about um, uh, the ICP investors uh, feel similar to um, uh, his clients and his large investors. They are the people online talking a bunch of shit all the time, impatient, etc. They are demeaning to those trying to put in their best work in. Even if most of the time those things that displease them are out of their control, uh, are out of our control completely. And we just need more time. It's a nice parallel to say the least. Pre-application work, meetings with government agencies, construction documents being in progress, and up to the building being in construction. At the end of it, usually the client is smiling and happy. We are in that big impatience period right now where the vision is there, the building just isn't finished. Now, I've worked in construction and I know exactly what you're talking about. The DOB, the Department of Buildings, Jesus Christ, man, it's hell dealing with them, uh, especially when you need to pull permit. I, one hack I've learned is like, I mean, don't don't follow me, right? But like sleep with someone in there, <laughs> date somebody in there, right? Like date some, and man, permits will open up for you. And he adds another comment. And I think that's the part that touched me the most. He says, also touching on the hard work part. I am currently not working, just flipping coins like you say. I feel like that work ethic slipped away from me. And this video was a nice little wake up call that I need to do a bit more. In part, the last company I worked for used my work ethic against me and beat me to a pulp. My mind has been, my mind has associated that with hard work. When I've had jobs previous to that where I'm working half as much and at half the effort for higher than half percentage of pay. The markets have convoluted my mind to think that money is easy to get in large amounts. Now my mind thinks of how much can I make with the least amount of effort possible, almost to the point I cheer laying in bed and making money on a flip. I think my brain is broken. Ha ha. That part really touched me, right? Because that's exactly what happened to me. Um, those of you who's been following me for some time saw me uh, go from living in a penthouse to living in a little studio, right? I mean, I've pretty much like destroyed myself. And how did I do that? Gambling, right? I mean, people call it trading, but that's really what it is. Gambling. I was um, speculating left and right. Um, uh, I was just speculating left and right on leverage. And you guys know I made a leveraged bet that went wrong. And I end up losing about 407000 And if you add the credit card debt, that's like 460000 really. And that wiped me out. I was devastated. You guys saw me go through that. I was devastated. I was broke. I was doing DoorDash. I was fucking hurting, drinking every day. And the, the reason why I was really upset at myself is because I couldn't believe I lost this much money. I couldn't believe like, I couldn't believe I had this much money and still fucked it all up. It was just like, man, how hopeless are you? <laughs> like, how do you have this much and still? Still fuck it up, managed to go back at the bottom, right? So it was just like hard crushing for me. So you can imagine how I feel about the whole crypto casino. Because I see a lot of people, they're talking about price all the time. They're flipping coins left and right. They don't know what the fuck they're flipping. And I just got burnt. You guys saw me live in a nice penthouse. That's where I live like a year ago, less than a year ago, right? Look where I live now, right? How did I get there? Gambling. Right. So, so, so I know from direct experience that this flipping coins uh, behavior, it could get addictive. You could become complacent and 
you know, lose it all. In fact, not only like I've lost it all, now I have to work again, right? I have to actually work again. Um, I've realized because I haven't worked for years, like my work ethic is not what it used to be. I'm not on point as I was. Like I'm not flowing yet. I'm not flowing yet with work. Uh, just to admit something to you guys, uh, I miss two meetings. Two meetings. You know how embarrassing this is? That's like so unprofessional. I miss a meeting where a friend of mine set up called Rizzo. And he hooked me up with this person I was building. this very interesting project. Meeting comes. I'm having drama with some woman. Completely forgot. Missed the meeting. Can you imagine how embarrassed I was? Second time this happened, I know one of the developers at Goldow. Um, uh, shout out to you, by the way, if you're watching. And shout out to Rizzo. Uh, so one of the developers at Gold Down, we talk um, uh, like on a side and I asked him, hey, can you hook me up with an interview with the people at Gold Down? Because I wanted to give you guys an interview, an insider look at Gold Down. And he did. He managed to get the head of growth to um, uh, uh, talk to me. And we were supposed to have a, a phone call They're over in Europe. They're in Switzerland. And because they're in Swiss time, they have to call. We have to have the, the video chat at 9 a.m. And the weekend goes by. I don't even remember the meeting. I fucking miss it. F finally, I'm, I forgot it so bad, guys. It's not until the engineer at Gold Dow I know messaged me. He's like, hey, are you still doing the interview? I'm like, oh, my fucking God. It was just like so embarrassing, man. I've done that twice. And I've realized like I need like a, a an app that notifies me when I have these meetings like ahead of time, like an hour ahead or a day ahead. So if you guys know a good app for that, let me know. But even I'm rusty. Even I'm making embarrassing mistakes. Just like, it's like, what the fuck, man? Because I've been complacent. I haven't worked. I haven't been working for so long. Flipping fucking coins, you know, till I lost it all. Now I'm in a tiny little studio. Guys, learn from my example. Don't make my mistake is what I'm saying. I I'm not speaking from like a moral high ground. Guys, trust me. I, <laughs> I could be a fucking devil. You guys don't know me, you know? So I'm not speaking from a moral high ground. It's from a guy who's fucked it up, you know? And I'm saying, as a community, we need to chill with the casino and get to work. Let's really build this infrastructure. Let's really build internet computer. Let's build solid projects that are making money out there in a the world. And as we see, we have five, six, ten companies on internet computer making money in a marketplace. We know we're a successful community. And we're going to do it together. You guys have connections. You guys could connect me. You guys know I'm going to Miami. I'm going to need connections in Miami. We could make this happen. We could build this together as a community. But we have to be fucking real about it. And one of the real things we have to talk about is we have to just slow down on a price speculation. In any case, my misfits, that's all I have for you in this episode. Don't forget to press that like button and support me on Patreon. I will see you next time.